Uh, today our show will focus on underrated Disney movies. We will get the ball rolling right after this. Welcome to The Verdict. Today we're talking about underrated Disney movies. I'm Noah Eastland. I'm here with B-Squared. If you'll introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Rebecca Nanny. And I'm Brie Keen. Alrighty, Brie, you want to tell us about your movie? Yeah. So, um, Wreck-It Ralph is the 52nd animated Disney feature film, and it was directed by Rich Moore. The film features the voices of John C. Riley, Sarah Silverman, Jack McBrayer, and Jane Lynch. And the story, and um, it tells the story of an arcade game villain who rebels against his bad guy role and dreams of becoming a hero, but his quest creates chaos to the whole arcade and its colorful residents. Here's the trailer for Wreck-It Ralph. My name's Wreck-It Ralph. I'm gonna wreck it! 30 years I've been doing this. I can fix it! It's hard to love your job when no one else seems to like you for doing it. You're just the bad guy who wrecks the building. Ah! I'm okay. I'm okay. If I'm really honest with myself, it sure must be nice being the good guy. Ralph, you are bad guy, but this does not mean you're bad guy. I don't want to be the bad guy anymore. Ralph abandoned his game. Welcome to Game Central Station. Bad guy coming! Everything changes now. Where's Ralph? Oh, sorry, Cubert. It's me, Ralph. Ralph's gone to hero's duty? Fear is a four-letter word, ladies. You want to go pee pee in your big boy slacks? Keep it to yourself. You're not from here, are you? Sugar Rush? You're game jumping? Hey! Aha! You wouldn't hit a guy with glasses, would you? Aha! You hit a guy with glasses. That's, that's well played. Without Ralph, we're doomed! They're gonna pull our plug! Ah! What's that? A medal. I earned it in Hero's Duty. <laughs> it's not that kind of duty. I bet you really gotta watch where you step in a game called Hero's Duty. <laughs> Some nights I stay up, casting in my bed. We can't change who we are. You can't mess with the program, Ralph. <laughs> Some nights I win. Everyone here says I'm just a mistake. You ready for this? What do I stand for? I'm not leaving you here alone. Well, let's close out with the bad guy affirmation. I am bad. Ah! And that's, that's good. good. I will I'll never be good. good. No, 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 no. And that's, that's not bad. bad. Hold that thought. There's, There's no one I'd rather be than me. Hey! Why do I fix everything I touch? It's make your mama's proud time. I love my mama. Oh, good. The cops. Hold still. Ow! Take that. What are you doing? One game at a time, Ralph. So did this movie live up to you guys' expectations, or does it need fixing? Uh, Rocket Ralph was awesome in all things that could be awesome. One, it took a great video game that I don't know if you guys have ever played, but I used to play it in the arcade by my house. And then after Wreck-It Ralph came out, there was a big surge in um, the apps for your phone where you could play Fix-It Felix Jr. So I had that for a while before, you know, I lost my phone. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I really liked the movie, and I personally, I don't like video games. I'm not a video gamer. Shocker, Agreed. Shocker. Me neither. I am. But I related to this movie for some reason. I, I really, I found enjoyment in the video game world. Are you a bad guy? I, I, I think I'm somewhere in between. I think I'm more bad than good. You know? Understandable. But, but that's not bad. <laughs> that's not bad. And that's that good. Is not, and that's good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I'm not a video gamer, like an at-home video gamer, but I love old-style arcade games. I used to have an arcade um, in my crappy little small town down the street next to the crappy little laundromat. And they don't we sponsor us. They don't sponsor us. The laundromat? So, no. They're, they're closed <laughs> now, so no, they don't. No. <laughs> um, but the arcade's closed, too. But back then, you know, you had the um, fighter games with the uh, Asian fighter ninjas, and you had Pac-Man, which I love that, that he was in the show at the 
30th anniversary party that uh, Ralph and Fix-It Felix had. Those are some of the Konami <laughs> games that they tried to like touch on within the movie. So the Konami games are Pac-Man and Street Fighter 2, which took the arcade world by storm because it was like Mortal Kombat, but not, mm -hmm. you know. I'm not sure which one came out first, but I love that the arcade touches on so many games that are like actually real. So they said that Fix-It Felix Fix It Felix Jr. was a real game, and it was kind of like a knockoff of Donkey Kong, you know, mm -hmm. when he throws the barrels and yeah. wrecks everything, he got to jump and get to the top. Well, um, I like that they also touched on games like Dance Dance Revolution, and then they brought and in the- Caterpillar, I believe. Yes, yeah. and they brought in the, the racing games, which, you know, took the arcades by storm. I mean, they were awesome. Mm -hmm. They were so much fun, mm -hmm. and, and with the daily racers that Sugar Rush offers, like, the, and just being able to see the inner workings of the game, I think it's very punny in so many ways. Like the Grand Central Station being the, you know, Game Central Station and mm -hmm. how within that, it, you know, that is the... Power strip. The, exactly, the, yeah. the power strip and where everything's plugged in. And, you know, when you watch the movie, you can see the plugs plugged into their respective <laughs> yeah. game yeah. ports. And they were worried about the, being unplugged. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I love the power surge police to yeah. make sure that it wasn't going to over surge. Exactly. I also loved all the voices we had in this show. Um, a lot of them are underrated voice actors, yes, too, underrated, yes. like Sarah Silverman and John mm -hmm. C. Riley. They're Jane fantastic. Lynch has been in so many things, but yeah. Yeah. those two are the main characters of the movies, and you you know, you, we've seen John C. Riley in several things, you know, Talladega Nights and yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. But well, you know, same with see, uh, Sarah Silverman. Yeah, She's she been in a few small things. Cameos. Yeah, she, she had does. her own, her own show on Comedy Central, didn't she, yeah, for she a did. while? Yeah, she yeah. Did. Stand -up I believe comedy. she has a Netflix original now as okay. well. Um, but yeah, they did awesome, and they worked so well with each other. Um, uh, I know that we watched this movie earlier preparing for today's discussion, and uh, she's just so funny, and she's so mean to Ralph, but she shows him more affection and more friendship than the people from his own game. Exactly. And I like, think that's what really... They didn't even invite him to yes. the 30th anniversary of their game, <laughs> and without Ralph, as they found out, there was no game. Yeah. And then, when Ralph comes back with his beautiful, shiny medal, and it's like, look, where is everybody? Oh, we all left because, you know, you weren't yes. here. And he's not even apologetic. No. He's just like, you get to the penthouse now. You broke that now. game. Oh, so um, I hate his people, but I love the movie yes. overall. And I love that it ends with Vanellope winning and becoming a princess. And because everybody she's finally on the side of the game for the whole time. That's my gripe of the mm -hmm. film, actually. Yeah. I hate her. <gasps> I hate her, I know. I'm so sorry. But no. she just... She annoys me so much. You are a turbo supporter. I am not a turbo. Hey, you are a turbo supporter. Let's not supporter. name call here. I, I'm, I already put it out You're there. not going it's, turbo, are you? I, yeah. I, I, I want to like her. He's turbo -tastic. I want to like her. He's not turbo -tastic. I want to like her, but I just can't. She Is just it forces the me not complex? to. the little kid complex? Is it the voice it's, like the? I think I I don't like Sarah Silverman's voice oh. to begin with. I don't really like Silver Sarah Silverman yeah. like because of her face though. I love her voice in this movie. Yeah. It cracks me up. Well, Ralph. The glitching man. is what gets me. My main me. man. The glitching. I, I think that's what makes me not like this character. So. Really? But yeah. it's a whole but part of the plot. Exactly. I understand. And I understand. And it's not even her fault. You know, King Candy, I aka do. Don't you have a soul? I no, uh, a little one, <laughs> but. It's just, you know, I, I feel like they could have done better. Did you like That's Ralph? It. What do you I think? I loved they Ralph. Could've... I loved Ralph. I love Felix. I love Jane Lynch's Sour character. Bill. Yeah. I love Sour Bill. But <laughs> I see why they call you Sour. One character in the movie I did not like. Was so. Vanellope. But the Vanellope. main character. Well, yes. okay, obviously not the main one. My least favorite character. Vanellope, my least favorite character in the whole movie was Gene, the mean guy who was like, well, I'll give you the whole oh. pit house. Oh, yes. I hate Gene. Oh, he's just a brat, man. Oh. He's so mean to him all the he time. He really is. For no reason at all. Oh, and it just hurt my feelings really badly. And I yeah. feel for Ralph. I mean, I, I felt bad. Like, and it, they even have, you know, their bad anon group where all the bad guys come mm -hmm. and do their meeting. And I love their mantra, the, you know, I'm bad and that's good. I will never be good and that's not bad. Yeah. There's no one I'd rather be than me. Beautiful. And I love that that is the theme <laughs> of the whole movie. Exactly. Well, the movie is also all about, you know, getting bullied and pushed away. And then he's... Uh, you know, the hero at the end of the day. Yes. So. I'm just ready for part two. Yeah. Heard that. November. Thanksgiving Day. Yep. Thanksgiving Day. All right. Well, um, we're going to wrap it up and throw to uh, a break real quick, and we'll nope. be back. We're actually throwing to you real quick. To me? Yes. If I you want to we read that right there. I thought we were to a break. No, no, no. We're not. All right. Well, we're I guess it's me. Uh, my movie is Big Hero 6. It is loosely based on the superhero team of the same by the same name 
of Marvel Comics. In the film, uh, this film is the 54th Disney animated feature film directed by Don Hall and Chris Williams. The film tells the story of Hiro Hamada, a young prodigy who develops a special bond with an inflatable bot named Baymax. And when a tragedy befalls his city, he puts together a team of high-tech heroes. Without further ado, here is the trailer for Big Hero 6. All right, let me get this straight. A man in a kabuki mask attacked you with an army of miniature flying robots. Microbots, B-Max, tell him. Yes, officer. Ah! Microbots? Yeah, he was controlling them telepathically with a neurocranial transmitter. Come on! I am not fast. Yeah, no kidding! Go, 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 go! <laughs> So Mr. Kabuki was using ESP to attack you and Balloon Man. I know it sounds crazy, kid. How about we call your parents and get them down here? What? Write your name and number down on this piece of paper and we can help. We've got to catch that guy. But first, you're going to need some upgrades. So Lunatic in a mask just tried to kill us. How cool is that? I mean, it's scary, obviously, but how cool! Whoa. What's wrong with you? Low battery. You home, sweetie? We jumped out a window. Who's that? We jumped out a window. Harry, baby. Harry, baby. Now, was that movie the big hero of Disney? Do you think it was what they wanted? Um, I think they did a really good job with the movie. I hate that you don't hear a lot about it. Like, you hear the people who love Baymax, and you hear about the people, you know, who, who really felt some emotional sentiment from the movie. Mm -hmm. I just hate that it's not one that's more of, you know, popular conversation and stuff, because yeah. I think that they did a well, really good job. Um, the thing about Big Hero 6 is it came out relatively close to Frozen. And we have all heard about Frozen and letting it go and sisterly yeah. love. Let go Frozen. Let right. it go, okay? Let it go. Big Hero 6 came out really close to Frozen. I believe it was in the same year. Let me also just um, say and that. And they even beat Frozen out in the box office. And Frozen wasn't even the first movie to have that whole sister love thing. Anybody yeah. heard of Lilo and Stitch? Right. That's true. Anyway. Um, but Big Hero 6 was one of the first movies to really focus on that brother aspect. There have been lots of movies between um, mother and daughter and father and daughter and sisters, but Disney has not really touched on a lot of brotherly love. The true closest brothers. They, yeah. True. The closest they ever got was maybe Toy Story. Or Brother Bear. And that was like, yeah. But they weren't real brothers. Exactly. Um, and so I really like that they touched on that and that this young kid is having to go through something so emotional. Obviously, they don't have parents age. either because they live with their aunt. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they lost their parents, and then he loses his brother, and then you think he's going to lose his buddy, and he's a 14-year-old in college. You know, he's already having all of these life stressors put on him mm -hmm. at such a year, an early age that most kids nowadays would not know how to respond to any of that whatsoever, whether they found a big fluffy friend their brother made or not. Baymax. He's Go Baymax. Yes. Well, la, 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 la. I, I hate to be Mr. Pessimist today. Again. Again. <laughs> Noah, why are you here? I, I, I kind of have what to What is be. wrong with this movie? But I hated it. I know. I'm sorry. What did you hate about it? For one reason, it? I hated this movie. Baymax. What? Hate him. <laughs> hate him, hate him, hate him. I Furry do. babies? I, I just Furry hate Furry babies? It's, it's, it's not funny. He jumped it's, out it's a not window. Funny. He jumped it's out not window. funny. It's, it's not funny at all. Why I is mean, it not funny? 
It's just, if you're going to give me some slapstick calling a cat a baby humor, I'm going to watch Airplane. I'm not going to watch Big Hero Yeah, but 6. that's not Disney. What? It's yeah, not Disney. I know. For the and, point of the episode, it's good. But and the, fer the furry baby thi er, thing was hilarious. It was. You just have a terrible Because his batteries are low when he's drunk. It's I understand. hilarious. I, I, I understand the concept behind it. And I think the concept is funny. Uh -huh. I think him, you know, becoming drunk because of the low batteries. I, that's a mm -hmm. funny concept. But I just... You just don't like the execution. Don't like the execution. Did you, did you enjoy Fred and his comic relief? I did. You know, with I did enjoy suit? Fred. I did enjoy Fred. Because he's so. my favorite part of the whole movie yes. is Fred. <laughs> oh, you guys. Baymax all the way. Baymax just annoying. I am so Baymax 100% of the time. Invisible sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Fred is okay. Fred is more slapstick he says, humor to he's me. He's like, than imagine Baymax you're is. eating a sandwich and people just think you're crazy. It's hilarious. I, it is, and Baymax is not funny. Uh, because, I can I mean, kind of see that. All right, Baymax is hilarious, but uh, Fred I mean, is also funny. But he feels more slapstick to me than Baymax. Does. No, Baymax is unintentionally funny. Yeah, Baymax is like a but really intelligent robot child. He is unintentionally intentionally funny. I mean, it's he, scripted, they of course. wrote him, you know, to be the a the unintentionally funny guy. Wow, finger guns. I'm sorry, but <laughs> it isn't. You know, it isn't like we're not supposed to laugh at him. We they're forcing us to laugh at him. They're shoving laughter down our throats, and I don't like that. I don't like Disney that. Disney has all. never shoved laughter down my throat. Um, I willingly laugh. It's hilarious. So, what did you think I, about the bad guy complex? Yeah, I liked it. You liked Callahan I, and I his did. his I drive really for liked his it. daughter. Yes, and I. Really did. I mm, I hate it, Callahan. He murdered tons of people. Oh, because you you lost your daughter. I'm really sorry for you, bro. But uh, you killed Hero's brother. And, and was um, completely unapologetic. My, oh, totally not sad about it. And if my friend was all like, yep. my friends were trying to stop me from murdering this dude that killed my brother and who was like, well, I lost my daughter. When yeah, well, Baymax goes into bad guy mode. Yes. Obviously, well, your daughter's in a better that's place because you're a, a good terrible character, person. though, because you hate him. That's mm -mm. what makes him a good villain. Mm -mm. Aren't no. we supposed to hate the villain? Like, I understand his Obviously. drive and his purpose. Mm -hmm. he, he lost his daughter. That's a big emotional thing. But what really upset me about his character is he's doing all of this just to get back at Cray because he lost his daughter mm -hmm. but and has no apologetic at mm -hmm. all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was close to, to, to Dashi. Yes. And yes. he's he the one who close. recruited Hero. You know Tadashi I mean? went yes. in there to save him. And he was like, that was his own fault. Yes. But he lost his daughter exactly. and he, it's enough to destroy a whole city. And that's why he's a good villain. That's what makes him a good I'm villain. I'm not saying he's not a good villain. I'm just saying I could have done without him. Ah, well, you wouldn't have had a movie. I would have had a, a great villain. movie. They could have just so. flown around and done cute things <laughs> with cats. It's Baymax. Perfect pet movie. And cats. No. Okay, so what about the <laughs> microbots? Yeah. What about the microbots? I wish we had those in real life. Yes. Wouldn't those be awesome? They were like, what cool. a creation that they cool. were able to come up with. I love that it yes. was a science based movie. Yeah. Yes. That's really good for It really encouraged child STEM learning. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, as a 14 year old kid to get into robotics and engineering. Yeah. What? And love math. And, exactly. And, but. I, what I liked most about it was how cool they made it seem. Four yes. kids yeah. who were impressionable and like, oh, big ears, it's Baymax. It's all science. That, I that was love incredible. that they started it out with the bot wars and made the robots look huge. And then you were like, oh my God, they're so tiny and cute. And they're fighting. And it was just great. I love the bot wars. I thought they were great. Especially how Hero comes into the story with his little cute, happy little bot. And then he's yeah. like, Main face. destroy. <laughs> yeah, angry yeah, face. Exactly. And he just yeah. flips real quick. And you're yeah. like, it's oh. It's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. And then he had that idea just sitting around. Like, he had already done it. And he just needed to do it on a larger scale. Yeah. And that's great because his brother was there encouraging him to look at things at a different angle. And a lot of kids who are into science and into this STEM program, they might be stuck. And then they might give that up because they don't have somebody there to help them look at it from a different view. But now they can all have a Baymax. Or they can just be relatable characters yeah. like him. And I could just love him. I don't need him shoving Baymax's stomach up the suit. I don't need that to laugh. Baymax I just, for life. I That's just your problem. That's, we have, enjoyed yes. it. Good movie. <laughs> Underrated, but great. Yes. But now we're moving on to my to movie. To your movie. Right. Which I will not be any sort of pessimistic about. Didn't figure. It's Wally. Yep. Wally was directed and co-written by Andrew Stanton, produced by Jim Morris, and co-written by Jim Reardon. It follows a trash compactor robot in a deserted world left to clean a largely abandoned city. However, he is visited by a probe sent by the Axiom ship who he falls in love with and pursues across the galaxy. 
Here is your trailer for Wally. Okay, so did you think that Wally was eventful or did you wander off? You mean wander, wander off? Wander, okay. Right. <laughs> What'd y'all think? I loved it. I love all Disney, but I, what I liked most about Wally was the relatability. I like how in the very beginning of the movie it shows our planet, what we've done to it, what we're doing to it currently, and the state that all of the humans decide to literally leave it in, in their big old ship. And all you see is poor little Wally and his cockroach going and doing the same thing he does every day, compacting trash, making little bo blocks and doing building- Doing his job. And building the city back up out of trash, literally, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So you see him in his, in his little roach and then everything's all hunky-dory. And then he sees a red dot like a cat and of course he has to chase it. And the red dot leads him to leave. <laughs> Um, also, can we just talk about how Wally was gypped out of an animal friend? Like Tangled, got that awesome chameleon. Yes. They all Pascal. got flounder. They get all yes. the coins. He got a cockroach. <laughs> a Who loves Twinkies? Yes. Who loves Twinkies? The two things that are going to survive a nuclear holocaust yes, are Twinkies and cockroaches, cockroaches mm. which yes. was hilarious. They it touched was, on that it because was. it's yeah. a post-apocalyptic mm. world. Yeah, I do like it though. However, a cockroach. <laughs> Poor Wally couldn't have like a cute little puppy. I am not a bug fan, but that cockroach is pretty cute. I mean, he, he was really cute. Fluttered cute. His wings he was cute. He um, made his little noises and all that. Yes. And I love that Wally brought in like some of the older shows. Like it showed how America had evolved from yes, making these yeah. really great the black dancing. and white movies, yeah. dancing in the rain, doing all these great things, to so then going up in a ship because we have totally yes. ruined our planet. We've done nothing for her. And then when they show you how society has grown in the ship, it just shows that we went from destroying what we had here to destroying ourselves. Yes. Obesity is a terrible problem. Nobody works out. Nobody grows anything. Nobody can do Their anything. Their media, which is Someone right here do. in their faces. Which is exactly our how the world is now. Yes. And our phones that are shaped like tablets that you yes. got to hold like this. Well, even VR goggles now. You can play video games with them. It's you true. can watch yes. Netflix. And it's right there completely blinding you. You're sitting on the couch. You're doing nothing, eating chips right here. Well, poor little Wally is going to save Earth after yes. we have turned her into a giant dump. And I like that Wally as a robot 
and robots, you know, they aren't capable of human capacity, but he sees the visuals of these humans the in love Emotion. and the music, yeah. and it inspires within him this feeling of what is this until he mm. nails it down and meets Eva yes. and realizes that he's not alone in the universe yes. like he thinks mm -hmm. he is. There's another robot, not quite like him, but still a robot, mm -hmm. and she's female. So everything and he's adorable. seen portrayed she's in these wonderful. movies... Yes. He's picking up as a robot. And he falls mm -hmm. in it's love. Wonderful. Well, he even he even feels compassion before Eva gets there. <gasps> when the cockroach gets crushed yes. with the cockroach, yeah. oh. and he's so sad for his and he cockroach. And yeah. goes to pick him up, and oh, he just yes. pops right up and flutters yeah. his wings. Yes. Well, also then he finds the plant in the boot, and he's like, "Oh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, you know, yes. destroy this. It's I should he's never life. seen anything yeah, like this. I should this. take care of this." And he puts his little boot on the shelf, and he makes sure his little. <laughs> Boot plant is okay. Yes. And his little disgusting cockroach, and he gives him Twinkies every yes. day, and it's a good movie. And then they go up there, and because Wally follows Eve, and they go and give the plant, the captain of the ship he realizes trusts her enough to give yeah. her the plant. Yes, mm -hmm. well, there as a uh, gift yes. yeah. of love, and then she I, takes it, runs. Yes, <laughs> women trifling. Hey. But, hey, I'm sorry, but I, I do have a confession to make. I what? do. So. I, Do you also hate Wally? Probably. I, I love Wally so much. But um, I'm a big, bad, brave boy, right? I'm a tough guy. Hey, Y'all know that about me. Yeah, Everyone sure. does. <laughs> but um, there's two movies that made me cry. Okay? Wally. Land Before Time. Oh, Because classic. of the nostalgia. And Click. Well, that's another episode. Click? But, like it, Adam hey, Sandler's hey, Click? I trusted you too and national television. But Local television. I, <laughs> Adam Sandler over Yes. Wally? But no, Wally... A belt brought a tear to my eye with one scene, the dancing scene. Oh, oh just it filled my heart oh, with so much warmth and so much scene. love. When they dance, when they're flying in the air, it's when not like dancing. you know. Like you know, brought dance. a tear to my eye. What's that? When she finally held his hand. Yes, that it led to the point. It was just so emotional, mm -hmm. so gut wrenching, so pure. Yeah, you know, it was just. I so think all brought a tear very, to my eye. What's that? Baymax and his cat. It's brought a tear anyway. to my eye too. <laughs> Disney oh, would like do Tadashi, this to me. You know, getting Disney blown would up. do this to me. Yes. Uh, but no, Wally was awesome. It was so good. Um, and it's it was a movie that was supposed to spark change. And I feel like it could have. And I feel I don't feel like it did. Um, I feel like it could have. I'm sure a lot of people who watched it were just like, yeah, and tried to go out and make a difference. But when Wally came out, we weren't at the stage that we are now. We didn't have VR goggles. Um, smartphones were really expensive, so not mm -hmm. everybody had them. But now we're at a stage where 12 year olds have smartphones. Yeah. Um, I'm and sorry, my like, toddlers and babies fresh out of the womb come out knowing <laughs> yes. how to work an iPad. But they're watching yeah. Wally on the iPad, I'm no, sure. No, they're not. They're not. Because they're not. it's so they're watching old. YouTube. People don't talk I, uh, about Wally anymore. Okay. They're watching Moana and Frozen. how to be, yes, how to be a princess. That's Frozen. True. Yeah, letting things yes. go, Ugh. except but they're millennials, and well, <laughs> the babies coming out the womb aren't. Um, yes. I'm sorry, they're Gen Z, because we're all Gen millennials Zeeks. here, so yeah. watch yourself. Sounds like a Gen oh. jerk to me. I'm like a, an involved millennial. We don't eat Tide Pods, big difference. No. Uh. <laughs> but Wally, he doesn't eat Tide Pods either. But well, he kind of just crushes everything. It, he doesn't, it's not consuming in his mouth. It's a great movie a robot, either way. Yeah, it's, it's, a movie a robot, that I wish, so. it's a movie that I wish could inspire more change. Yes, yeah. I wish they yeah. would bring a sequel for Wally. Yes. I do too. But all in all, the, I think this was a great show. So happy y'all are here. Hey, no uh, next week, we Peep Hit Play is actually invading us. We're going to do Ugh. videos on, I'm sorry, uh, movies on video games, and they're going to be reviewing that. So. You think they're going to cover Wreck-It Ralph too? You never know. You Ooh. never Come back next I'll week and find out. So as Noah and Bree and Becca, we thank you for coming in next week, and this week actually, and yeah, today. we'll see you next week.